is simply good cooking with Rebecca today I'm making crepes crepes may not seem particularly Christmassy but they're my family's Christmas Eve dessert tradition we've been making them for over 10 years we like to do a, like a crepe bar kind of idea for dessert so the first thing I'm going to do for my crepes is melt three tablespoons of butter in the microwave One of the easiest things about these crepes is the batter is just mixed up in a blender. You kind of just dump all your ingredients in, blend it up, and it can be made up in advance. So if you're doing it for a holiday meal, you can make it up, up to 48 hours in advance and just leave it in the fridge until you're ready to actually make the crepes. You just want to put some liquid in the bottom or else your flour will get stuck in the bottom. So start with a liquid and then it doesn't matter the order that they're dumped in. But I'm going to start with two eggs. Okay, I've got my two eggs in. Next, I'm gonna be adding half cup of water. Okay, the next ingredient I'm gonna be adding is milk. It's three quarters of a cup of whole milk, or like today I'm out of whole milk, so I'm just using half a cup of 2% milk and then a quarter cup of cream. So if you don't have whole milk, you can just mix and match cream and whatever you have on hand. Next, I'm going to be adding in the three tablespoons of butter that we melted earlier. Okay, now I'm going to move on to my dry ingredients. I'm going to add one cup of all-purpose flour. Alright, next we have two and a half tablespoons of sugar. Okay, after the sugar, our final ingredient is one tablespoon of vanilla. If you like a liqueur, you can reduce the vanilla to about one teaspoon and then add one or two tablespoons of your favorite liqueur. Okay, once all your ingredients are in your blender, you're just going to put the lid on and blend it for just about 10 seconds. Um, just enough to mix it you don't want to overbeat it and if there's a little bit of flour sticking to the sides that's fine it'll kind of incorporate when the batter rests once your batter is blended you're just going to let this sit in the refrigerator for a minimum of one hour and up to 48 hours the rest period just allows the bubbles to settle and it'll make sure your crepe has a more even consistency and it won't fall apart So I've got my crepe batter out of the fridge. It's rested for a little over an hour. Now I'm going to be using, a, I have a crepe pan because we do this every year, but just a non-stick skillet. That's what you want to use. And you're going to want to fairly liberally butter that. So I just keep the whole stick like this and then you want to butter it. You don't want your butter to brown. If your butter's browning, turn down your heat. A quarter cup of your batter into your pan. And then you're going to swirl that around and get a nice, thin, even layer. And I always kind of expect to throw my first one away because you never have the pan at the perfect temperature. It just takes a little bit to get the feel of it. And that's going to cook for about 30 seconds on the first side and then flip it and it'll cook for about 10 seconds on the other like a pancake would cook, you know, a little bit of color on it. Okay, so before you flip your crepe, you're going to want to make sure it's loosened. And then if you're really good, you can just flip it in the pan. I usually try about one of those a year, but it takes me a while to work up to it. You flip it with a spatula, cook it until you get just a little bit of brown on the other side. It's basically cooked once your first side is done. I like my crepes with just a little bit of lemon juice and some powdered sugar, but for my family's Christmas, we also always have available chocolate sauce and usually some kind of berry pie filling. So 
sometimes lingonberry jelly. Whatever you sounds good to you, we usually just have it out and everyone kind of prepares their own and comes in as the crepes are hot off the griddle and prepares their own crepe and fills it. My crepes are finished and stuffed and they're ready to eat. Crepes may sound a little bit intimidating to you, but they're really quite simple. It might take you a couple to, of cooking them to get the hang of it, but after that, it'll just come naturally. It'll be really easy. These are great for any time of day, really, during the holidays. For breakfast or a brunch, they're nice. They're great for dessert. You can actually make these up ahead of time and freeze them or refrigerate them and then just reheat them right before they're ready to serve. However you serve them, my family's Christmas Eve crepes are simply good.